Hi, I'm Theo. And these broadcasts are to support the blogs on nomorshi.com's website as well as the online classes in this episode. What about Josephus? Welcome back to the No More She broadcast, where we pick up our second Temple Period Literature Series with Part 6 today. In our last episode, we covered the Dead Sea Scrolls, and now we turn to the writings of Josephus in Part 6. What about Josephus? What makes his works so important for us to utilize in our studies. If you study any introduction to New Testament studies, you're going to learn about how New Testament came to be. You're going to learn about the background issues and a lot of the history of the Second Temple period that's going to go into this and understanding of how the whole Greco-Roman and the idea of Hellenism plays a role in the New Testament. And so uh, here we have the fourth body of literature that we want to talk about and that's a man named Josephus who is a Jewish historian from the time of of the first century around 37 to 100 and so he has uh, recorded for us a lot of history and perhaps more importantly not only has he recorded history but he has given us at least what the view of that history is in the first century. So he's a contemporary source of a Jewish writer writing within this context of Hellenism and Roman rule and letting us know a, one of the ways that they would share their history with other people in their midst, providing a unique perspective from first century Jewish beliefs about their own history that was worth preserving and making the effort and expense behind such a project and it is extant with us still today so unfortunately we only have his body of work that survived we don't have other others but we'll take it and it's important and it gives us lots of things that we need to to understand now in in the uh, dictionary of new testament background uh, on josephus we we understand there are three major reasons why Josephus is important for students of the background of the New Testament. I mean, we have a whole dictionary on the back. See how important background information is to understanding the New Testament. These are things that previous generations like Luther, Calvin, and what Wesley and others did not have. And these are important. And we have whole dictionaries now on these things to help us. And, and we're thankful for uh, editors like Craig Evans and Stanley Porter who bring this to us. Okay, so why Josephus? Well, number one, he presents by far the most comprehensive and systematic history of the Jewish people from their beginnings to his own day and is especially full for the period just before, during, and immediately after the lifetime of Jesus. Very important. Especially concerning such personalities as Herod and such events as the census of Quirinius. Number two, he is the earliest non-Christian writer who mentions John the Baptist, Jesus, James the brother of Jesus, Judas the Galilean, Judas, and the Egyptian prophet, all mentioned in the New Testament, and gives outside witness to these. You know, there's so many people that, that say the New Testament is not to be trusted, and yet we have evidence of these same things written by other authors. Thirdly, he presents the earliest systematic and comprehensive paraphrase and interpretation of the Bible. Interestingly, nice. You know, how did he survive and how was he able to write? Well, he takes on the Roman, you know, garb and takes on their name. So he takes, he changes his name. So his name is Flavius Josephus. It, it can also be said that his older contemporary Philo mentions Pontius Pilate and Agrippa I. Even there, Josephus's evidence is critical for any reconstruction. Thank you very much. And God bless you for listening. Stay tuned for more episodes and videos to help you with your journey from nomorec.com.